Hey guys, Misto here, and welcome back to Season 3 of the 100 Day Challenge, starring Maxwell, a lover of bacon and eggs. Uh, so in this episode, we're going to cook up more bacon and eggs, and we have three more days of summer. Now, our fashion melon will not last long enough, so during the big crescendo, which is what I wanted to save this for, we might have some problems. We might have some problems. Aw. Uh, Unless we uh, keep sleeping through those nights. Uh, so during the last day, you get like a continuous eruption. Basically the entire last day of dry season. It's it's terrible. Just terrible. But uh, if we can survive this episode, guys. Then I think, I think we can finish the challenge. Because all we gotta do is deal with the mild season. Which is just nice. Only problem there is hounds. And we can fight hounds. We've proven we can fight hounds. We just make a boat, come out here, and uh, let the beefalo deal with it. So, let's get started. We're going to cook up a bunch of bacon and eggs, and we are just going to play safe. It is safe time. We dealt with our hounds. I don't think we get another hounds before the end of this, so we should be good. That was our big tragedy averted right there. We just got to deal with a crescendo. Let's hop to it. All right. Oh, yeah, daybreak right there. All right. So, let's uh, grab these. I'll put these in here and start making more bacon and eggs. Oh, we should have been making bacon and eggs all along. These take like 20 days to go bad. So this, like this right here won't even go stale before the end of the season. Even if we just leave it in our pocket. Which I'm thinking we will. Let's change this out. I left the other one on that island. <laughs> Rest in peace, Thermal Stone. Rest in peace. Let's uh, prototype up one of these. Ooh. All right. Uh, let's get our hound's teeth put away, start doing some inventory management. We have a lot of hound's teeth now. Uh, we are up to 10. We can make 10 traps. 10 traps is probably what we're going to do. And, uh, these bacon and eggs will full heal us when we eat them, so we don't need to worry about it. Bacon and eggs is such an amazing food. Uh, it just requires that you have, like, pig meat, basically. And uh, if you can get a birdcage. And in our mild season, we are exploring. Mild season is a great season for base building. Nah, that, that ain't us. That ain't us. We are going out. We need to find a swamp. We want to find reeds. We have continuously been needing reeds. Actually, let's put this in here. That'll slow it down just a bit. You know, just do our best. Is our butter... Is that even going bad in the fridge? I have no idea. That is amazing food. We need to set up a butter farm. If we can find the volcano, you can plant a bunch of uh, flowers next to cacti plants, and they'll just destroy it. It's amazing. Uh, let's get these rocks out of our inventory. We have so many of them. Uh, boom. Wait, well, that put up a lot of them. And uh, you know what? Let's get our rot. Let's get our rot out here. Let's go ahead and uh, put this rot on these. <laughs> these. It might do something. We picked up just a tiny bit. There we go. Just a tiny bit. Okay. <laughs> you know, they're tiny. They got a little bit of fertilization going. This will be our food for quite a while. Uh, this should get us through all of these days. That rumbling can't be good. Whew. Whew. You know what? Let's get our melon. Let's go ahead and face our attackers. We gotta, we gotta deal with this. Uh, we gotta clear off the dragoons so that we can actually use this island. Our boat is so weak. This is down to 100. It's gonna start flooding us soon. It might be flooding us, and I just can't tell because of the fashion melon. Man. Alright, so we got our uh, obsidian armor on. This is just infinitely attacking those guys. That's fine. Uh, yeah, let's let's definitely get our charcoal. We don't even need to make our charcoal. We have been wanting to make... What is that? I guess that's charcoal on fire thanks to this, uh, this jerk over here. Being a jerk face. Let's put this on. Oh, oh, nope, that's not our weapon. Okay, punch at me, bro. Alright, there we go. One, two, three. Five and he's gonna spit. And we dodge and finish him. Okay. Alright, put this back on. Put our wrong can on. I don't know how many of these guys are still alive. Here's some Dragoon meat. I guess we killed a Dragoon right before uh, the volcano struck. No, that was the one that was killed by the volcano when uh, we realized that that could in fact happen. Alright, put this on. Put our helmet on and come and punch at me, bro. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no. Okay, this is just. We don't want to be fighting both of them. Oh man, we don't want to fight both of you guys. Calm down. 
Okay, we got him dead. He's dead. Oh, here's a Dragoon Heart. We want to get that in the fridge, actually. We got two Dragoon Hearts. That's pretty cool. Well, that's a pretty rare drop, actually. Now, um... How rare, I don't actually remember. I think it's 10% or 5%. Let's eat this. That'll get our... Oh, man. I don't want to go home to put these up, but I want to go home to put them up. This season is just terrible. I hate it so much. Now, we are... We are staying cool because of our fashion melon. And, uh, it does... It does a lot, but... Let's see if it'll be enough. Uh, we can pick up this wood and... We can get these coconut trees planted. There we go. You know, pay it forward. Pay it forward. I'm going to try to walk away from these. And uh, if we hit evening and it hasn't started yet, we're just going to immediately fall asleep and hope we don't die. There's some uh, stingers. We want, we want those. We definitely want those. What can we put down? This one's not helping us right now. Uh, let's make our endothermic fire right here. Put this down. So we can come over and pick these up, and we... Let's put our nitrate on. No, put... Add the fuel! There you go, that'll be nice and big. It'll cool both of them down, it'll cool me down. Now, we're gonna pick up these stingers. Now, do we have one more at base? This might be perfect. And that honey did save us quite a bit of a fuss. So we're gonna stand here, cool down. If we even touch night, we're gonna make a straw roll immediately. And we're going to, uh... What do we put down? What do we put down? Oh, I want everything. You know, it'll be dark soon. Charlie's coming. Put down the meat. We have a lot of meat. Let's make our rope. Make our straw roll. And let's, uh, let's just go to sleep. I hope this doesn't go bad while we're sleeping. No, oh, we're empty inside. Go ahead and eat that. Pick this up. Oh, uh, it did. It did win. It went very bad. Uh, where... Did we seriously not get the eruption? Let's go ahead and make another one of these, then. Alright. Because, uh, I think we're gonna be surviving based on one of these soon. This will get us quite, uh, quite soaked is what we need. And let's stay near here. The Dragoon Hearts. We could make a Dragoon Hut, but all you get from Dragoons now are meat and dragon Dragoon Hearts. Now the hearts are nice if you have the uh, the obsidian uh, workbench, if you know where the volcano is, but the volcano has all of the ones you need. So honestly, making a Dragoon Hut is kind of useless now, unless you just want monster meat. But there are easier ways to get monster meat from spiders. So that just seems uh, pretty terrible to me. Let's add this fuel. Is it time? We just gotta save. Cool me down cool me down. You know what? Let's let's just drop our rocks. One day we're going to come over here, we're going to pick up this 20 stack of rocks and be like, whoa! That's so cool! Let's put this as close to the fire as we can so it'll actually get cold. Pick this one up. And I think our fashion melon's going to go bad right before the crescendo. We've seen two warnings! Why are you trolling me to start the eruption? Oh my goodness. We can't go back. It's too risky. We just don't want this to happen. We're going to stay here try to cool down as much as we can. We're almost certainly going to be overheated during it. And our fashion melon is just going bad. I'm so sad. Uh, when it does go bad, that'll clear up another inventory slot we can uh... What? That's like five warnings for this one explosion. What are you doing, game? What are you doing to me? Well, we can push through it. This will. This episode will be the last day of the dry season. We just have to survive this. That's just what we gotta do. We uh, we gotta get through this. You know what? Put another wood on there. Let's get super cold. I want the stone to be blue. No, put another one. I demand it, Maxwell. And you know what? We can eat these dragoon hearts if we need to. That's that's not bad. We don't lose any health from them. We actually get health, which is cool. But we have our bacon and eggs. Just not going bad. Here, we'll eat the seed. Ugh. Is this just is it just gonna be the last day it's giving us a lot of warning for the really really big crescendo where it's gonna erupt all day long and our fashion melon is gone rest in peace that helped us a lot i highly recommend the fashion melon on uh, maxwell 
he just completely ignores. There is a sanity loss while you're wearing it. And you get wet, which could lead you to more sanity loss. But uh, Fashion Melon is amazing. If you can, uh, if you just have a bird cage, you can grow melons. It makes the summer very, very tolerable. It's my favorite thing to do in Reign of Giants with uh, Maxwell. You know, you just make your Fashion Melon and you just don't have to worry about overheating for three days. Pretty nice. Oh my goodness, it's really just going to be messing with us, isn't it? We can get our rocks back. Alright, and that opens up a lot of recipes. There's uh, so many things over here we can just pick up. Now eat the seed. Nom 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 nom. And, ooh. Alright, so we're full up on flint. And we're just going to be kind of using this time as best we can. Pick up these rocks. Ooh, getting the hiccups a little bit. Getting nervous, it is the last day. This is the one day that we have to survive. If we survive this, I think the rest of the playthrough will be okay. But uh, this is going to be the big one. Because if we die once, it's going to continue to uh, rain down from the sky, even as we respawn. In fact, I have heard a lot of people who have said they've died uh, like before they've had control of the character. Like There's the animation where you're standing up from revival, and then you have the circle around your character falling, and as soon as you get control, the instant you can move, unless you had a telepoof, you're dead. You're dead, you just can't deal with it. There's a fire. Oh my goodness, it really is gonna do this. It's just gonna, it's just gonna do this. Uh, if we sleep through the night, we're gonna warm up. That's a big problem. Uh, survival, <laughs> we can't make a siesta lean to, can we? No. Of course not, we... What do we not have? Do we not have... We have grass. Okay. Rumbling can't be good. Oh my god, it really is just trolling us. It's just trolling us. Okay. It's almost time we can eat our last bacon and eggs. We wasted this entire day because it's given us like seven warnings for the big crescendo. I didn't realize. Oh, we're going to have to put our meat down. That might get set on fire or turned into the cooked version. I'm not sure. Uh, we don't have enough. We don't have enough to sleep through the night. Uh-oh. We're going to have to use our torch. This torch is enough for the entire night, but it's just super, super scary. Uh, I really just don't want it to start. So let's keep our fire nice and big, keep us as cool as we can. Oh, I think I overfed it. I wish it would, like, tell us. Like, Maxwell doesn't give a lot of information on these. Oh, we can eat these up. That's fine. I'll try to save this in case we get that little partial hit again. Because uh, that destroyed our football helmet. If we get a partial hit one more time, then our football helmet's gone and we might not be able to survive with just the obsidian armor. Uh, but luckily it is not just an insta-kill. That is pretty fine. That's more fair than I was thinking it was. Uh, I'm sure if it directly hits you, it is an insta-kill. But at least there is like partial if you're just kind of hit by the uh, rocks from where it hits the ground. And I think it's going to start during this night. It's just going to be annoying. And it will target the endothermic fire. It will destroy our second thermal stone. We don't need our thermal stone except for the season. So we can make another. We have tons of rocks and flint. It'll be very easy to replace. But uh, this is our fate. Just how how interesting of gameplay is this, guys? How, like, look at Maxwell. Look at how interested he is. Look at this. Look at this man. He's just like, yes. This is fun. Thank you. Thank you for this. Just running around eating these seeds. Our pockets are full. We need this bacon and eggs to pick up the seeds. But, uh, rumbling can't be good. Maxwell, it cannot be good. You are right. Cold and fiery. You know what? Add this in. Boop. That'll keep Charlie away. For a while now. For now. For now. Right, let's eat these bacon and eggs. Oh, it's all our bacon and eggs. This is our last day. This is when it gets intense. We do have these Krishers that'll help give us more uh, more information of the shadows if it does come during the night. But uh, I think it's time. It is time. Unless, of course, it got glitched because we fell asleep at a weird time. That has been known to happen in, uh, in Don't Starve Games. Glitch is happening. But, uh, you know, this night's basically done. This night's basically done. And uh, we're just going into another day of this this garbage sitting around our endothermic fire pit and uh, you know what we can did we already make another one up we did we even have the fire pit when we get home 
There's no need for such an outburst. Alright, that's just gonna target our fire, so let's walk away from it. Okay, walk away from that. Alright, the hard part is whenever it gets to the, uh, the ashy part, and it's much harder to see the shadows. Uh, we could move up here, where it's a bit easier to see. Just a bit easier. Yeah. Oh! That one's coming right down on us. Maybe not. I'm not sure. The contrast, it's kind of hard to tell. Like, it's really nice design, but there should be, like, modes to make this come out. Like, see easier to see. Be easier to see. Like, a higher contrast shadows. Give uh, people who uh, don't have great vision a little bit more of a warning. There, that one, that one. Okay, they're only falling one at a time. I think another one's just going to start during this. Uh, ooh, it did not destroy our thermal stone. Is our thermal stone too strong? Just didn't get hit. All right, we're still just we're just watching. We're just being really careful. This is the last. This should be the last boring episode before we can go back to having more interesting commentary. But uh, this is just holding us back. Oh. Okay, we dodged it. We dodged that one. Uh, we're kind of moving along, so we have a little bit more range. We don't want it to like spawn on here and we not see the shadow. Lots more Dragoons. We'll just come over here and kill them during the mild season. That'll give us some food. And this is just such interesting gameplay. I love dodgeball forced into my game. Alright. So uh, we have survived for now. Let's take this home. Is that really the last one? No, there's going to be another one. 100% there's going to be another shower. It's going to be a very short warning too. I don't want to be fooled by this, but I do want to go home. I want to be able to get these stones in the fridge. Ugh. Are we getting trolled? Are we getting played here? We're going to find out soon. We're going to find out soon. Right, let's get over here. Let's get the stuff in the fridge. Let's get some of this I these items out of my inventory. As best we can. Alright. Ugh. Run to it, Maxwell. Get it in there. Shove the stones. Get us cold. Okay. We're running low on a lot of supplies. Where would we have stingers? That would probably be the chest that has stingers. All right, so stingers are not in a chest. We can just put this down. Uh, we do want to make a boat repair kit, but now is not the time. Come here, butterfly. I will murder you. I will murder you for your delicious wings. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Okay, and inside our chest, we want to put this in here. We want to put this in here. Oh, this is going bad. Rest in peace, egg. Uh, we just, we're not going to deal with that right now. Now, is there any way for us to get grass? We can get grass from the mangrove. That would be okay. And I think that's what we're going to do. Let's, uh, let's go pick grass. Let's go pick grass and try to be ready for this last day of the season. Uh, we are going to start overheating really fast. We don't have either of our stones now that I think about it. We don't have anything to keep us cool. So maybe those have cooled down. Let's go grab one. We're already at 31 degrees. I think at 35 we take damage. Yeah, they're frozen already. So grab this up. Come out here. And whew, we're not getting the warnings. It's going to be a really short warning for uh, for this last explosion, I think. We still got our ash going. You know, instead of making us play dodgeball, it would be a lot more interesting if like this ash did something. Like maybe this ash would cause sanity or damage health loss to your uh, player you have to make like a mask like a medical kind of mask to uh, defend against it or something or uh, there's just so many things they could do with the season instead of dodgeball but they've chosen dodgeball now uh, this boat is dying and uh, it is so dead it is more efficient for us to hammer it down and make a new one but for us to do that we're going to need a lot of rope uh, when we hammer it down, we get half our resources back. That should be like three of the boards, uh, one or two of the ropes, and what's that sound. Oh, I guess. Oh, we can hear the floaty boaty knights from very far away. That's what that sound has to be, I believe. And yeah, there's just so much they can do. So when we hammer this down, we'll get uh, half of our resources back. Maybe, maybe we slept in such a way that we don't get the big crescendo. Or that's going to happen during our mild season, which will be very perturbing. Kind of annoying. But that's fine. We have lots of poop. When we plant down our endothermic fire, uh, it'll be A-OK. -okay. It'll be A-OK. -okay. Uh, we're going to have to collect wood during our mild season, but we have our obsidian fire pit now. 
So uh, the biggest thing, we just throw poop or um, a uh, straw roll on that. It's going to give us some amazing nights. We're going to have some awesome nights here at the base. And we really, really, really want to go exploring. That's something we really want to do. Like, so badly. Uh, we haven't gotten any kind of warning. That might have been the last explosion. I remember it being way worse than this. Did they make it easier? Or... Did I get lucky? I, I actually don't know, guys. I don't know what's happening. I know this boat is kaput. Like, we're not going anywhere on this boat. Uh, anyways, we're going to do our exploring on the cargo boat for sure. Because that'll give us more space. And uh, we do need to pick a lot of seaweed because that's going to let us cook up uh, more meatballs. We're very low on uh, food supplies right now. You know what? I... I'm very... Uh, I'm very loath to say it, but that might be the end of it. Like, I'm afraid if I say it, it's going to jinx us, you know? But that, that might have been the last one. The smoke is cleared. This is the end of dry season. Like, when the day comes, it's going to be the nice mild season. Uh, last episode was kind of long, so maybe uh, we'll just end when day breaks on this one. And uh, this will be like the end of dry season uh, episode, and then since we're going into episode 71, there'll be up to... 10 more episodes for the whole for the whole 100 day playthrough if we uh, can finish. That would be pretty, pretty choice. Assuming we can uh, stay to our links. We have been historically quite bad at ending on time. A lot of times we'll end a couple day segments in and it's like, oh, it's time to call the episode when I look over and see the timer. But, uh, you know, we can, we can get through this. Our farms have all failed, but we can rebuild. This egg is going bad. Let's poop on our endotherm. What? Poop! Oh, let's get three of these. Nice. That's just a medium-sized fire, and look at how much light this is going to give us. And... Guys, I think that that is the end of, uh... Of the dry season. We did it. We made it. Oh, those aren't producing yet. And, uh, ooh, we can't turn this on because we need our fire pit for the night. We might turn it on in the morning. Just let that fall out. But uh, we're going to make some drying racks. Well, let's pick the grass from uh, these. Yay. Yay. This is what I wanted for my farms. Just grow grass for seeds. That's pretty fair exchange rate. And guys, I think we did it. I think we made it through the dry season. This was the hard part of this playthrough. The hard part of the let's play. And uh, now, now we just get to thrive. Oh no! There's one more epi one more day. We were trolled. We were trolled. Oh, this is zero more days. No. No. Okay, we gotta go survive this last day. One more explosion. We gotta grab our stone. We picked up a lot of grass. We're gonna run back to the other island. And, uh... Whew. We just gotta run back to the other island. Alright. We're gonna cut this episode a little short. Make up for the last episode being a little long. And in the next episode, we will find out if this playthrough can continue. I'll catch you guys then. Let's go.